Dr. Jerry, I'm back, and we are talking strangely about how it's getting hotter, which you wouldn't think is a medical issue, but extreme heat is. It is. It's a very much a public health issue, and just like many public health issues, this new report shines light on how it disproportionately affects communities of color. So this is a new study from JAMA, large peer-reviewed journal uh, from UPenn, University of Pennsylvania, and they looked at the rate of heat-related illnesses and deaths. They looked in the past from the years of 2008 to 2019, and then made forecasts, estimated what it could look like in the year, for example, 2065. They found that annually in the past around 8,000 deaths were associated to heat and that number can only be expected to increase by the year of 2065. The, the expected increase is more than 200 percent overall. Now when you look at Hispanic and black communities, communities of color, that percent is significantly higher. We're talking about 300, 400, 500 percent disproportionately affecting communities of color. Another reason why not only do we have to identify this as a public health issue, but we need to act now. So what can we do right now to get these numbers down? Well, I think number one, being aware of the risk of heat related illnesses, making sure that you're prepared for it, especially as we move into those warmer months. The estimates have shown that there is more than 20 to 30 days, additional days of heat with temperature over there with temp days of temperatures with over 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is one thing to prepare for. But I think overall it's about getting politically involved, getting engaged in your community, figuring out how you can reduce, reuse, recycle, making sure that you're holding those who are leading accountable to make sure that your community is safe, providing cooling centers. And again, getting involved, I think, is really important. I think that this that is what this report is shining light on. Mm -hmm. Sounding the alarm for us all to pay attention. Absolutely. All right, Doc, thank you very much. We appreciate it.